Hello YouTube, it's 4RedBars here for another video. A few days ago uh, I showed uh, older banknotes, uh, $1 banknotes, and I mentioned that we don't use banknotes for $1 and $2 anymore. We have coins. Uh, another interesting thing about currency in Canada is that we don't use paper for uh, the other banknotes, the 5, 10, 20, 50, and $100. Uh, so, and at the end of the, the video the other day, uh, I showed a two dollar, so we don't use this anymore. I uh, showed a another ten dollar note. We don't use this anymore. It's paper antiquated. Um, up to a few years ago, that was the five dollar made of paper, along with the ten dollar from the same series. So, pretty much standard bank notes with modern designs on them nothing fancy but those have been replaced what we use now is plastic banknotes polymer banknotes so that's what we use nowadays in Canada that's a five dollars that's a ten dollar and that's a twenty dollar with the Queen sir sorry Oop, come on focus uh, Sir Johnny McDonald and uh, where's the bill yeah, right here uh, Sir Wilfried Lahey uh, both were prime ministers a uh, long time ago so I'll show you the features of the polymer banknote one of the funniest ones is that they have a window you can see through the banknote and the reason is is the material the polypropylene used for the banknote is clear plastic. Uh, only when they print the money does it get any color. And when we say print, I think it's more like painted on top of the of the plastic. Uh, they use that window for safety features. Uh, one of the cool thing is the hologram in this part right here. Uh, so that's a picture of uh, Wilfrid Laurier, and if you turn the banknote a certain way, you have a hologram that appears in it. It's cool, eh? With all the reflections. You see the five that's repeated several times to confirm the five dollar denomination. There's also the words, uh, the letters, uh, the word Canada. I, can, I think we can see it here. It's like engraved in the plastic. Maybe we can see it better on the other side. Yeah, here it is. So it's like stamped uh, into the, the plastic. Um, the ink that's used has different thicknesses depending where it is on the on the bill. Like the five year, you don't feel that it's raised, but it's like kind of rougher. And that's because the paint is just a bit thicker than the rest of the of the bill. Uh, the portraits also, like the shoulders, they're raised. The Bank of Canada here is you can feel it in your fingers. And uh, another cool feature of Canadian banknotes, I don't know if uh, if uh, other currencies in the world have that. Um, even the older ones had it, but it was in the different corner. I don't know if you see it. There's like dots in the corner of the, the banknote. Uh, the newer bills, it's uh, on the other side. So you see the five here has a block of six, uh, the ten dollar has two blocks, and the twenty dollar has three blocks. That's for the blind people, uh, blind persons, so or visually impaired, so they can feel and know exactly what banknote they're holding, so they can make a cash transaction at a store, and uh, be sure of uh, the money they're giving to the cashier. Uh, the $50 would have four blocks and the $100 bill would have two blocks but with a space of two in the middle so the $100 would have a block here space, space and another block at the end. So all the bills use the same design. Uh, they have uh, a lot of uh, micro printing and safety features, 
uh, like a lot of currency across the world, even American banknotes, they have the uh, what some people call the Omron rings or the Urion constellation. It's uh, five dots that are repeated in a in a pattern, and that prevents a photocopier uh, from reproducing a banknote, and that's used by many countries. Uh, Polymer banknotes were first introduced by Australia, I think, in the late 80s, uh, 1988, I think. Canada has been using them since 2011. Um, so there's, I believe, 20 or 30 countries that use polymer banknotes nowadays. Uh, even the UK is considering going to ban, uh, polymer banknotes uh, for the, the English pound uh, uh, starting in 2016, I think, so next year we might have plastic currency in England, in Great Britain. Um, so that's the, the banknotes I wanted to show you. Um, the idea behind this video came from a comment from Carl Silver uh, that he made on my previous video on the older banknotes. Uh, I suggest you check out his channel, uh, very interesting. And um, yeah, he presents a lot of different stuff. and. Uh, I really like his opinions. So uh, check out Call Silver. So thank you for watching my video. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you soon for another story about collecting and stacking. Thank you.